So we're going to check first the projector settings and the image. Now before we actually get into the projector we need to look at something called the um, screen resolution on your computer. Um, in order to do that you can right click with the mouse on your computer screen and bring up display properties. And in display properties there are tabs along the top. If you go along to settings it will take you to a window which shows the screen resolution. The screen resolution on computers can alter or be different. In order to get the best image possible make sure your screen resolution says 1024 by 768 pixels. This can be adjusted by moving the slider across with the mouse. Then click OK and then we'll have a look at the, uh, the settings on the projector itself. Now the aim is to get the picture as big as possible but inside the four corners of the board. So I'm now using the uh, remote control and I'm going to press on the menu. When the menu comes up you've got some uh, listing down the side and in order to get down to settings I'm going to use the arrow keys on the remote. So press down one and this brings up the signal. Now on signal we've got Auto setup should be off. Aspect should be on full. If I'm going to go down and show you the different aspects on here, so I'm going to go across and down. And when I get to aspect, press enter. Now, as you can see, you've got five different settings there. It should be on full. Alright, so escape to get out of it. The other one that's important is the tracking. Tracking should be set to 1222. Two, two. Now this may vary slightly on your interactive whiteboard, but if you start on 1222 two, two, and then adjust it slightly either way, making sure that all four corners are inside the board. Right, this is essential for you to be able to then calibrate your board.